All right, some people were asking me how uh, how I, um, I did the picture-in-picture -picture movie. Right here you see the desktop of my computer, and you see my webcam application open here. And uh, then this is the clip I made earlier today. But for now, uh, I'm not recording through the dash cam. You can only hear my voice and you can see me talking, but you see like there's a delay, right? But to make a picture in picture, first of all, you need a, a software that can support more than one video track. And then, of course, you need two feeds. So I have one, so now we're going to create another one, right? So we're going to start recording. What? Record. All right, let's go. Okay, and now I start this one. And here I am uh, driving on I-80 uh, east towards Cheyenne. <laughs> and as you can see, the road has uh, uh, slippery spots. And if you check out the picture on the left, there's a cop's car and there's a trailer in the ditch. And as I passed, there were still people in there. And that's it. Okay, so now what we do here, so I already have this on my desktop somewhere here, yeah, Cheyenne, and now I'll just take this one, put it somewhere here, alright, so now we have two files, alright, let's call this, CH1, and we'll call this one, CH2. All right. Come on. Okay, now we open this baby here. Cyberlink Power Director. What? Where did it go? Okay, so here's this uh, very powerful uh, Power Director 12, which I don't like. I mostly use it for. Um, uh, you know special effects and stuff like that to make uh, like titles and beginning of the movie end of the movie but here we gotta import media because this thing does not understand you it's like not the, like a Windows uh, movie maker where you can import you can import uh, anything now if I can try to find if I can find this stupid okay yeah here we go uh this one i think yeah that's what the one second one okay and again i have to choose this desktop ch2 oh that one is longer where is it okay you see this means this yellow button means that yeah that's the preview so that means that this program, it's so slow, I don't know, I'm using it. I have an NVIDIA video card, I have an Intel, and I, uh, I'm trying to use NVIDIA more, but it looks like on this laptop, NVIDIA is only uh, uh, supports games. Oh, you see, this is already green. That means that file is ready. Okay, you see here, this picture, that's video. Sound special effects video so this thing what i love about this thing it supports can we move this no we cannot you see we cannot it's and it's so tiny so basically you have to use this program on a big screen like on my 15 inch i, I have a high resolution and it's not good okay so we put this one here All right does it work yeah beautiful All right and then we have to use my narration on the second video uh, track. You see this? No, there's no sound. Oh, okay. She's somewhere here. What is this? 
probably we can do uh, split. Yeah, okay. So I did learn a couple of tricks here. Split, remove, and uh, move clips on the same track. Yep. Okay, now we can play the movie. Yeah, okay. But now, of course, it's trying to play both uh, both clips at the same time, and you cannot see. So what we do here... Actually, wait. How did I do it? Oh, like this. Yeah. So you double click on this one and then you have this. See? And you can play with the with the with this you can make it as small as you want. And let's put it on this side because the the accident is over there, right? And save. Right? And it doesn't matter that you cannot see me, but it's going to be there. Movie yeah that's it and then we just we're done here and then of course that's what I did in that in that thing but then I had to move to add uh, uh, music uh, oh geez I mean this program if you don't use it too often can be a pain in the butt now we click produce come on where is it yeah over here yeah produce and I usually choose this one but it's gonna give me a very big file uh, let's just see if we can use something small. See, these are all huge 24p. Th I mean, sorry, I mean, uh, this one, but it's not even the regular size. I don't know. Hardware encoder. Where to start? The, bu <laughs> the button start is not here. Uh, usually it's over here, right? Let's say MKV. Uh, but anyway, so you see, you, you get the picture. So basically, I just have to find the, I save this. But you see here, it's all very high resolution. And that's the problem because I cannot upload like this to YouTube. But uh, what I do is, once it's saved, then it'll be the video like this with me talking. You see? That's what you saw in my previous video. And actually, what I did also there, I, I disabled the sound on the actual dash cam. There's a, in the menu there, uh, it says uh, record voice, yes, no. So I chose no, so there was no audio from the, from the dash cam. But in this case, I left it. Uh, but I mean, I, can, I think I'm pretty sure that I can uh, disable it here inside this program. But that's what you get. You have two two video feeds so we have to use two cameras and uh, and you don't need a double right but then you open my uh, then after that file is saved because that's a huge file right then I, I just open my favorite uh, my view movie maker and I click on add v videos and photos and I find that file see like these are my uh, start and end that I use on every oh you see like here what is this oh yeah that's that movie that I made and but basically yeah, I opened that movie in here right and then let's say we we'll just choose a picture uh, let's say otherwise it doesn't uh, allow me to use the save my movie right and then I just choose the resolution that I want you know let's say uh, because uh, that one is a like high resolution file I don't want that I can do this or this 720p at 2500 uh, you know bits per uh, per second and that will be like much smaller file but still very good resolution and that's what I did so it involves like two steps two two uh, uh, movie editors two cameras it was lots of work but of course it looks nice uh, yeah I like it I mean which one we're we talking about uh, this one I think it was this one 28 yeah see it looks cool of course you know uh and this one also i saved with a uh, like high resolution so at least on my laptop it shows great you see you can uh i like how i'm waving that piece of cheese in there but anyway so now you guys uh, have an idea so that's how you do it you it just involves lots of work but uh, this one is not free. This cyberlink, it, uh, I chose the option, uh, the one that costs about hundred bucks. 
I think the cheapest one is 50 bucks, but then you don't get all the effects. You know, it's a good editor, but it's like so slow and but has lots of effects. That's that's why I keep it. So I just use it mostly for effects. But anyway, so thanks for watching. Now we have an idea. Uh, stay tuned and uh, happy holidays.